Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and we have here today a magic trick done by Magic Man and if this goes well then we might see more of this in the channel so if you enjoy these magic tricks um, make sure to like the video, leave some comments and give it plenty of views, share it among your friends you might see more of this so now I'm just going to pass it over to Magic Man who is going to be showing us this trick so, um, as you all know my name, I'm Channel Magic Man, so I'm going to be essentially risking, not my life, because I doubt Blood on the Floor is going to be good for the shop, so instead I'm going to be risking wouldn't. one of my most expensive cards. Okay, let's bring the... An SVR Uranus. Yep. Now, this was the very card that you used in the national event, wasn't mm -hmm. it? In Leeds. Yep. So, uh, do you want to down at the thing, and I'm going to explain what's going to happen. Sure. We have here five envelopes. They all have a card inside. We're going to make a sixth one in a moment. Mm -hmm. First of all, though, I don't really fancy this card being signed, so we're going to do this in We're going to get Edgemarky to help me a lot with this. So, Edgemarky, we have here four sleeves. All right. I would like you to put your hands on any two sleeves to begin with. Just make it easy. We're going to keep these two sleeves here then, okay. and eliminate these two. Sure. This is an elimination box. Right, put, put one finger on one sleeve. That is the sleeve we're going to keep for the trick. This, you're happy that that is a complete random decision. Mm -hmm. We're going to put Uranus. Inside this, if you can hear the fact I'm nervous, it's the fact that this trick does sometimes go wrong. I'm also going to seal Uranus away for a moment inside of an envelope. This is a money envelope, but sometimes you may get cards coming into these envelopes. And I'm going to show as well it is fully going into the envelope. Yeah, I'll just get that up camera. All the way in like that. And we're also going to take out the envelope, if I could actually, yeah. I'm going to give it a lick. Now you can give it a lick if you like. I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> that, that's a Right, uh, also confirm, before we do anything, you can feel the card is in there. Please be very careful. I sure can. Okay, also there are cards in each of these. Right, this is where you have a job. Okay. Six envelopes. Mm -hmm. One of them, very expensive, the other ones, not so much. Could you give those envelopes a mix-up for me? Okay, sure. Then once you've done that, um, give it a good mix-up so you don't know, I don't know, uh, bus man's just walked in. Um, just so that none of us know where anything is. Uh, do you want to film the shuffling as well? Yep. Uh, then what I'd like you to do... do a little bit of shuffle while we're... Okay. Then once you've done that, could you one. write a uh, number on each room from 1 to 6 and also just put like a KC or something underneath that as well? A what underneath, sir? A KC or any oh, sure, sure. sort of thing. Yeah, you know, the, the card game shop that we all enjoy yep. and love. And then I'm going to ease my nerves by doing a very simple trick before I'll I move into the... One... Yep. KC... And you want the KC on all of them, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Now confirm, do you know where the card is right now? Not at all. Okay, absolutely great. Anyone standing around, do you know where the card is? No. 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 Busman, do you know where the card is? It's somewhere. It is somewhere, correct. It is in the fifth sleeve, I think. Um, okay, prediction, we got a fifth yes. sleeve. If, this go, if you've got this correct, <laughs> you're the new magician of the channel. Then I want to get some before. Number the big, four. The big magician dog. <laughs> the big okay, magician right. boss. So this is where uh, I'm going to do something a bit more magical and then we're going to move into the main thing. This is to kind of calm my nerves as well. Not many people know this about magicians, but we actually make our own packs of playing cards. I bought a pack of playing cards into the stop to me today to actually make. I'm going to show you guys as well. Completely blank pack of cards. But this is where the magic kind of happens. If I take the deck here and click my fingers, you'll actually see a card print out from the bottom of the deck just like that. Ooh. The second time is a bit hard to do. If I show you guys through again, there's only one card printed out of the deck. This is where the second card prints out, onto the back like that. The last one, really hard to do. I'm going to show you guys, just really quick, two cards printed out. How many cards do you want me to make this time? In fact, do me a favour, name a card. Any card? Yeah. Uh, King of Hearts. King of Hearts, name a card? Uh, the Queen of Diamonds. Queen of Diamonds. Zang is that um, card? Make a new card? Let's go for Ace of Spades. I'll tell you what, make all of those cards appear. If I just go through the deck, you'll actually see every single card that you guys named has now appeared into the deck because it's a full now pack of cards. That might be impressive, but we can do this in reverse as well. I'm going to go, first of all, make this three diamonds disappear. Or the card underneath it anyway. If I do this, you'll see that card there disappears. The three diamonds is about to disappear as well. We're going to drop the entire deck onto it and you'll actually see that card disappears completely from the deck just like that. The last time, as you've probably already seen, we can make all the rest of the cards disappear. And now that my nerves are kind of less shattered, we can go into the bit where, hopefully, my favourite card doesn't get destroyed. So, oh. Edgemarkey, could you lay the six cards out? Absolutely. You want them horizontally? Uh, horizontal, however. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Can we get all that on? 
Uh, uh, yep. Fact, do you want to put it like two rows of three? Yeah, maybe two rows of three would be a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay, so, there we go. When I uh, were talking about this trick a moment ago, Edge Mikey said he was looking forward to destroying some cards. Yep, I was. So, here's what's going to happen. You're going to be our executioner for today. Wonderful. Here is a dice that has been borrowed. I'd like you to roll that, and that's going to roll on any number that is on the table. A four. A four. So, here's what's going to happen. <laughs> Take card number four for me. Take the scissors. Sure. And cut directly through the envelope two times. Don't look at which card is in there. Two times. Yep. Oh dear. One, however you would like to destroy that card, I think it's definitely destroyed. Right. Try not to give any hints of what is in the envelope so far, and right. we're just going to get rid of these for the moment. Sure. They're going to go into the discard box. It's suddenly becoming very real now. Does mm. <laughs> anyone want to see a coin trick instead? <laughs> so, I'm going to get it to roll it again. If it lands on a four, we'll just re-roll. We're going to keep rolling until we get numbers on the table. A six. Oh, okay. okay. So this time do it six. face down because I think... Yep. Cut directly through however you want to cut it. Alright, let's just go right through the middle again. You're loving this a bit too much, I can tell. I'm enjoying it. I would be if I could actually cut through the thing. There we go. I Come actually on. know it's a bit of a black sleeve there as well, that's a bit worrying. <laughs> Come on. Just rip it if you need to. Just... Oh no, there we go. Well, no. I mean, it's, not the one. it's not the one. Well, it's not that's... the one. Yeah, is that good? That's fine, yeah. Uh, just show it into the box, others. Okay, we've got one, two, three, and five. Sure. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. This isn't your cards on the line. Three. This is three. This is Yep, yeah, uh, cut all the way through. My bad, number five is still going well. <laughs> the reason I'm getting someone else to cut this is so you guys know I can't change anything. Absolutely. Okay. And, you know, I'll keep this on camera so you can see that, like... I'm a bit nervous now. <laughs> Okay, so numbers left is, what is it? One, one two, two, and, and five. five. Okay, so I'm going to put other numbers on this, just so that we can definitely make sure we get a roll. So this is now one and three. I'm going to try and do this upside down. Man's are shaking. Two and four. Can you draw a four and a six on that? <laughs> <laughs> a four kind of threw me up. Yeah, this is go. so that we definitely know that the next one. Um, quick, so which one did you think the card was in? Five. Five. Five and six now on you side. Four. Four. Okay, please roll one and three so that... The... Four. Four. <laughs> Same right. thing. Moment of truth. Oh dear. Goodness. Just give it a tear if it doesn't go all the way through. There we go. Yeah, that works a lot better. Okay, right, shove them in. Um, I'm going to put them in nice. Okay, right. This is essentially odd. No, wait, we've got another one there. Okay, roll until you hit a 1, 3, 5, or 6. What? A 1. Okay. Okay. Same again? So, yeah, yeah, cut through. Please do not cut through this envelope. Uh, so, yeah, uh, give that a good cut through, and then if it doesn't go all the way, just rip it. And again, try not to reveal what's in the envelope. I like the suspense. Okay, perfect. And then put it in, and we're just going to shut the box here. Now, what I'd like to do is, could you open that envelope and show everyone that hopefully <laughs> okay. my Uranus survived? Does anyone have a Uranus for trade if this goes wrong? Okay. Which one? And take the card out and show everyone that that is the uh, Uranus that survived. Oh dear. Oh, no. oh. Okay. Um, uh. You have a Uranus for trade, right? <laughs> Hang on, okay. I'm a magician. I can fix this. The cards in there. Uh, do you think Bashir allow like solitaire cards? And <laughs> do me a favour. Could you open that box and just find the? I don't think so. There? Absolutely. Open the box. Uh, uh, push it open. Could you actually find that all yeah. along <laughs> this has been a bit of a trick? Whether you're in the survives <laughs> this whole time. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so shaky, that's <laughs> that's in trick. So remember, if you enjoy these magic tricks, um, give us a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, oh, make sure you click the back sleeve as well, just in case anyone's wondering that notification icon, just so you can see when more of these videos go out. And if you really enjoy what Magic Man does, be sure to let him know in the comment section and say that you want to see some more tricks. And the more likes, the more comments it gets, the more likely we are to do more of these. So that is going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all in the next video.
Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't know.